Hey guys, Baffle Kill here, and I'm back. And I decided to start a new series on Minecraft along with my Battlefield 4 video campaign videos. And I'll, after I get done with the campaign on that, I'll start doing a multiplayer too. So, but anyway, today's Thanksgiving, and I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately because we had new carpet installed, and I had to move my computer out of the room unhook it and everything plus uh we had thanksgiving and stuff to get ready for christmas decorations to put up and everything so i decided to just go ahead and do a thanksgiving special today and we'll go ahead and get started so i'm going to tell you about what we're doing uh this is syndicate's map i don't know how he came up with that name but anyway uh syndicate the syndicate project uh he got this random world seed that's c418 i think's new track anyway so you guys can check that out but anyway uh this is syndicate project's map and he loaded a random seed and there was he spawned next to a village in a super flat world and then uh, right behind him was just like this giant unloaded chunk type thing. And uh, he made a challenge on it. Uh, you can only stay on that one chunk because it's like raised out of the ground. So if you tried to get out of that chunk, you would just fall down to the lower part. And uh, he made his own nether, uh, or not nether thing, ender port portal on that uh, specific chunk so because the chances of finding it in that chunk are very slim finding the stronghold in that chunk and that is very slim so he made just like a one out of creative and made, made the whole map survival and he made the challenge to to uh, go on survival and just survive pretty much and then make it to the end and kill the ender dragon and uh he also made like one of the best swords that you can get in the game and he hid it somewhere on the map so you're going to we could find that and that would help us a lot when fighting the ender dragon and other mobs and everything too well anyway i'm going to go ahead and get started and we're going to take his challenge so here's the ender portal right in the middle of the map. So all we need to do is fill that with the lava and find the ender eyes and we'll be off to the end. So first off I want to show you the uh, huge chunk. And the way I'm going to do that is I don't have commands right now because I can't use commands. So if I were to do game mode one, I couldn't. Actually, I could. Didn't think I could do that. Oh well. But uh, I'm gonna turn it on creative real quick just to show you guys the massiveness of this chunk. It just pretty much goes off the side of it, and there's lava and everything pouring out the side. Must be on the other side where the village is, but um. It's just a super flat world. And if we wanted to, we could get a bucket of water right there and uh, float down the side. Because that might be an easier way of finding diamonds in there, maybe. Plus, we would uh, be able to go over there to that village. Uh, where is it? I think it's over here. But uh, you could... See, because the ores stick right out the side of the mountain. So you might be able to find some diamonds or something. So, it wouldn't be that hard to, we could do it now if we wanted to, just jump off right there. Still not sure where that village is though. Anyway, it's a huge chunk. Too huge.
I want to find that village. I need to locate which side it's on so I don't know. It's not too far from here. Or it shouldn't be anyway. I do have my render distance on. Max, don't I? Yeah. By the way, I fixed my FPS problem. If I, I probably told you in several of these videos now that I think about it. But, uh, turn VSync off. And that was what was holding me at 60 FPS, even though my car can take a lot better. Because now, right now, I'm running 154. And that was just like, there's the village. And that was just like bogging down my card because of it. Uh, what it was doing pretty much is syncing to the refresh rate of my monitor, which is only 60, and it was syncing the FPS to that. So, anyway, this is the village. I'm not going to do anything over here until we start on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fly back up here. And we are going to start this and take Syndicate's challenge. And go, hopefully end up fighting the Ender Dragon. Figured this would be a pretty cool series to do. Because I kind of want to find his secret chest too. He hid it somewhere and it's pretty big. It's not really a chunk. It's more of a whole biome. Got a... Uh, up out of the ground like that and didn't load completely but um what we're going to do now is I'm going to change it back to survival and we're going to go searching for this chest and hopefully find the chest and get the sword out of it And if y'all haven't noticed, I have changed texture packs. I am now using Flows HD. Uh, it's a HD resource pack. Not a texture pack, they're called resource packs now. What am I thinking? But um, it seems pretty cool, and uh, a lot of people use it. One of the YouTubers, Shady Watches, uses it. I can't remember who it is, but um, they use it, and a couple other people I know use it so it's pretty cool I might as well use it so right now we're just going to pretend like we're not even searching for that chest and we're just going to get our basic stuff I say we get at least 30 blocks of this would to hold us over for a while. Shouldn't take too long to get to 30. Um, at 16 right now. Can I get that piece? Oh well. This is the worst part of getting started is the patience to get all this wood. It takes forever. I mean I could have built an axe, but that would have just taken even longer. May as well just go ahead and get it. Here we go. That's 30. And another thing I have to worry about is mobs. We still have zombies and skeletons, everything you would normally have in this biome or chunk. I'll just call it a chunk. I'm not sure if it's a floating mm -hmm. biome or chunk, but anyway, uh, I want to make sure that I don't get caught with any mobs or anything, because there are mobs in this game. Uh, do I 
I'll go down there. I'm gonna make this to my temporary house, I think. And uh just flows out. I was thinking make a temporary house there in order to get food. Uh make a temporary house there to go in that mine later, but it just circles back around. So that didn't really help me much. I haven't seen any mobs yet though. I've just seen normal entities like this guy. Oh, there's an Enderman over there, I think. In it. No. I thought I saw an Enderman over there. If we could get a fishing pole going. Oh, there's a skeleton behind me. Yep. We don't have to worry about him now. That's cool. Anyway, I kind of want to get to a flat place to dig my hole for the night. Actually, I'm not going to dig a hole for the night. I think I'm going to try to make it over to one of these trees. And I'm going to go to the top of one of these trees. Because if I go high enough, then I might be able to see the chest. If it's on top of one of the trees or something. Might even be on top of one of the trees, who knows. But, um... Might be able to find the chest since we have a good vantage point. Yeah, that didn't help. I might have to put a piece of wood there. Oh well. That's okay. Ooh, if I wouldn't have made that though, that wouldn't have been okay. Slots up not there, but no. Okay, so I don't really well bring that all the way up. So let's get all the way up. That's the only option I have. Here we go. Now we are at the very top. So I'm just going to look around, see if I see anything. I don't see anything at the moment. Whoops. That could have been deadly. Okay, well I don't see anything right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump down. Convenient water. Need to eat. That uh, didn't fill me up as much as I wanted it to, but okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off the side of the mountain. Well, not off the side of the mountain, but... I'm going to find that uh, place where the water was coming down. 
and maybe I can go ahead and go down there to that village and go ahead and see what's in there for me. I think, was it right here? I know it was next to a larger body of water. We'll make it to land. Because I can't really see anything from here. Oh, there we go. Still nothing though. Well, it's definitely not on this side of the chunk. Wish I could make it to land, though. It's kind of slow here. Yeah. Okay. Next side. I'm not going through all that. I'll just look back from here. Nope. I think it's over here though. Need to hurry up though because I'm running out of food. Well, I'm already out of food. I'm running out of ham bones. I really wish this chunk would load. Please. Yeah, I think it's around this. Yep, it's right over there. That water chunk that load is really convenient. With the water. It's not really a chunk. I don't know what to call it. Water source. That's why I should call it. So it's right here. Iron. Don't have anything to mine it with yet. Hoping to find something at the village. I see redstone. Oh great! I'm about to die because of hunger. And that won't be fun. That's lapis. It's not diamonds. 
Redstone, redstone, lapis, more redstone. If I see diamonds, I don't care. I'm mining some iron right away and making me a pickaxe right then. I don't care what I'm doing. I hate these stupid unload chunks. Help even better if I ran, but I can't. Really should have gotten more food and prepared more a little bit, but there it is, so I don't even care. I can get me some weed over here, make me some bread, and I'll be good. Be good for the way back. That's a lot of lava. If I'm not mistaken, I saw a ravine on there too, on the outside, so I won't have to search for that, I'll just go to it, I don't have to worry about the lava though, Damn, y more. emerald for three days, that sucks because I can just steal your wheat, leather pants, compass, leather? Man, that's bad. Twenty wolf and a No, that's for sand. That's for post Okay. For a bookshelf. Three. Let me see. Three bread. Yeah, for good job. I'm going straight to the blacksmith. Still his stuff. If there is one, I hope there is. It looks like a pretty good village. So there should be one. If not, I can just steal all the resources. Oh, there it is. I can just steal all the resources anyway. Please be something good. Please be something good. Yes! Yes! Better than expected. Now I can steal all your cobble. Digging more of there, lava. Yep, that's nice. Uh, you can just do whatever you want to, stupid lava. I'll just start going way in here. Oh, I would kind of like those iron bars where the lava was. That can help me when I'm making a mob grinder later. Okay. Down here. Don't want him to fall in the lava. Okay, we're good. That thing's huge. Okay. I'm gonna take this crafting table when I leave too. So I'll use I don't wanna use that much. I'll just do this. Do that, and half of that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do a sword. I'm going to do an axe. Yeah. 
and I am going to do a show. And furnace. Food, I need food, and it hurt me to get iron for that. Oh, I need wool, too. so I can make my bed. Where are you? Two more for 11 hours, you can die. I don't know why I'm not doing that in my sword, but I guess that's a good thing because I'm not wasting the power on killing villagers. You, do. you just stay entertained over there, okay, Mr. Snowy? I'm right over here. Oh, Mr. Slime is finally there. Mr. Slime can go away. Got enough wheat to make bread though. And I found a potato. Potato! Oh, I have, I have, I have, I have that. Cooked potato. Heal, 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 heal. Great help, so. No more to die. Because it wouldn't hurt me to have the slime balls, too. Man, that's a lot of slime balls. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Not today. Not today. Ah, oh, damn. Creeper. Mr. Creeper. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Repair. There we go. That's good. I'm fine with zombies because they're all after the villagers. Creepers look scary on this texture pack. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. I don't 
hell is that crazy <laughs> again? And guess what, crazy? I don't know. potatoes and carrots I could have right now. That stick creeper. This looks like it's going to be a pretty long night. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here guys. If you enjoyed it make sure you give it a like rating and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.